Welcome Growth Tribe to another training video presented to you by Global Social Media Marketing. Today is the first day of spring and we have sprung with a new video on how to create a custom audience on Facebook using a customer, customer data list. This is a great way to use your existing database of information of customers and market to them on Facebook and target them for a variety of different marketing objectives that you can run. So let's go ahead and jump in. So we're going to go to Facebook and start to create our audience for our uh, ads or our, our uh, use for our ad campaigns. So we're going to go to Business Manager. And for today's purpose, we're going to be using Global Social Media Marketing. So we're going to go ahead and select our ad accounts for Global Social Media Marketing. From there, once we're in Ads Manager, we would want to go to Audiences. We can do that by clicking in the left-hand corner, All Tools, Audiences. And now we can go ahead and create our audience. So we're going to select Create Audience custom audience and then from there we can use a variety of different sources I'm not going to go through all of these for today's video today we're going to be focusing on a customer file and the reason for that would be I believe in my experience that this is the best way to use people that have already bought your product or service and they're you know already converted so a lot of people in today's Facebook world really are trying to generate leads and get leads that are going to convert. So why not start with your existing customer database and market to them as well as future possibly create lookalike audiences, which we'll save for another video. So for today, we're gonna to select customer file. From there, we can use a file that includes customer lifetime value. I'm not going to get into that as well either today, but pretty much all you need to know with that is just that you can assign a value to each customer in that file that you're using of what you think that contact or customer is worth over the course of their life uh, for your business. So for today, we're going to use a file that doesn't include that. Then we're gonna select the origin. So we're gonna be using a list today from the iLearn Collaborative Conference that we attended earlier this year as a sponsor. And this will be something that we direct directly collected from a, a data source or a partner. So we're gonna select uh, from partners. Then we're gonna upload a CSV or a text file. For today, we're gonna use a CSV file. And we're gonna be pulling that from Google Sheets. So here's our list. And one thing before I download this list, I just wanna talk about how to best prepare your data for uploading. First thing I see a lot of businesses, small businesses, local businesses, even major corporations, they have a list and this list is not flush. It's not uh, fully cleansed, it's, it's all mess, there's missing information. And a lot of the times there will be a name that's kind of, the whole name's written out. It wasn't separated by first name and last name. So a quick solution for that, a little quick extra tip for today's video is you could use uh, Google Sheets and you can use an add-on that's called Split Names. You can select that column of that name and you can click Start. And then it will give you that option to split the name. So we're gonna split first name and last name because that's what Facebook wants. And then we'll have a nice little split. So we'll have our first name and our last name and we could label those. So a quick little extra tip for you guys today in today's video. Uh, big fan of, of uh, that add-on, split names, and use it all the time to save some time. So we're going to remove uh, that example for you, the little trick. And this is our file. So we can see we've got uh, a lot of the different Facebook identifiers. So to just quickly go back to that, we've got 15 different identifiers. In my experience, you would like to have about five uh, at the minimum. That's usually Facebook will, will be able to map things uh, effectively and correctly. And within those five, I would try to focus on at least first name, last name, email, country, and then city or state. And, and the reason for that is, is because there might be multiple, for example, Benjamin Kepners in the world. Maybe there's a Benjamin Kepner that's based in Denver, Colorado, and maybe there's a Benjamin Kepner 
that's based in Galicia, España. And for this reason, we want to make sure that we've got the right Benjamin Kepner. So by having that first name and last name, that's great. But then adding another layer of either their email or their geographic location will tell Facebook the exact person that we're really trying to reach. Everything else in here is great. If you can add that data, my advice is if you can get all 15, great. It will be more accurate that way. But at least at the bare minimum, try to get five. And those ones that I mentioned, uh, I think, are a great start. So now that we've kind of discussed that, I'm going to go back to our list. And I'm going to file, download as, and download this as a CSV file. So we've downloaded that. We're going to go back into uh, uploading it. You can also drag and drop, which is nice. So we've, dra we've, we've dragged and dropped. And then we want to give our audience a, a name. So we're going to call this the ILC Conference uh, 2019. We'll go to Next. Now, this is where we get into the mapping. So mapping, as I've learned in Orlando, Florida, is definitely a uh, magical thing. And for that reason, you know, we're not going to get into a lot of how this is done. This is a lot of machine learning, AI on Facebook's end on how to map those things correctly. But we're going to go ahead and take each of those rows uh, that were developed. And so this is really important. When you have your CSV file, it's important at the top of that list before you download it that you have in that first row the different columns that you're going to be using. So first name, last name, email, state, country, uh, school, organization is not relevant. But you can see where I'm going with that. It's just that in order to correctly map these, you want to have those that, that first row be these different columns. So first name, we can see here, we would come over here to the right. We would select first name, last name. We'll go over here and we will find last name. Email, they've already mapped it for us. State is in Colorado. And then country, United States. So boom, we've got five different identifiers there. So we're looking good. We've got some phone numbers in here too, but we don't have all that information. So I'm going to just not include that. We can do do not upload. And we should be good. So the next thing we would do is we would click upload and create. And they would hash this upload. So this is where they're trying to find all of those people on Facebook, right? So it says it was uploaded 123. Another thing to note here is that when you create a custom audience list, I think that you want to be around a minimum of 100. In my, in my past experience, there's been issues with uploading a list that's under 100 people. So try to have at least that many potential customers or leads to work with. And then from there, you know, our audience is ready to go. So we could go create a lookalike audience or an ad right now from that. But for today's video, we're really just trying to show you how to create a custom audience. We would click done. And then now we can see that list has been uploaded and it will be populating. So it's just some other better best practices. If we go to Facebook, dot com slash business and we look at ads audience they're going to tell us you know for example um if we're going to use phone numbers always include the country code uh also you know if they're going to if we're going to use for example uh a state we we can use the spelt out and we could also use the abbreviated uh same thing would apply uh for a country we would we would want to use that abbrevi abbreviated and include that that's important they're they're always asking for us to to do that we can see some other things male and female is m and f i don't need to go through all this you can read this online um, and i can put the link in the video below uh, but that's a really good way to just kind of prepare things and make sure that that data is as accurate and as cleansed as possible i think that's really what's important when we talk about custom audiences is having a list that has been cleansed and properly filled in so that Facebook can t hash that out and all of a sudden, whoa, bam, create that great custom audience that you can start marketing to. So that's everything for this video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. 
And please subscribe to our video. We would love to have a great community here on YouTube and uh, open to any ideas on new videos that you'd like to hear about. Hope this was helpful. Take care, guys.